reception will be conducted by uh, Sulakshana Bhatlonde. She is having 17 years uh, experience in electronics engineering. She has done many, many such uh, small kits, practical, she is having very good practical experience. So you can take advantage of her knowledge today to build a robot or to build any automatic system, huh? whatever, whatever is required, she will tell you. Okay, over to you, Bhatlonde Madam. Yes, thank you, Madam. Is it visible to all of you? Yes, it is visible, madam. Start. Huh. Hello. Good evening, students. Say hello to this robot. Robot is saying hi to you, students. OK, that's great. I'm Sulakshana Bhatlavandi from ENC Engineering Department of YB Patil Polytechnic, Akurdi, Pune. Today we will discuss about an embedded system used in robot. Before starting today's session, I would like to ask one question you. Students, do you like robot? Write in chat box. Yes, Samiksha, Sagar. Ati, okay, good. I hope all of you find a robot interesting. In previous sessions of this online course, you have learned about the basic components, basic devices, basic uh, different sensors and different motors. These are the basic electronic components we have to use in a robot. Resistors, Capacitors, diodes, transistors, different motors, power supply, different sensors. Uh, in this session, we will see about an embedded system used in robot, in which microcontroller or microprocessor is used along with all these basic components and devices. Here, uh, this is the development board. You can see in the picture. Uh, in this, the microcontroller or microprocessor IC is mounted and uh, according to the application, program will be loaded in this microcontroller. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. This is the development board present in our college laboratory. We do practicals on this kit. Let us see what is an embedded system. An embedded system is a combination of hardware and software. My desktop computer also has hardware and software. Does that mean a desktop computer is also an embedded system? Yes, you're writing chat box. No, the answer is no. A desktop computer is considered a general purpose system. An embedded system is an application oriented system. That is, it is dedicated to perform a single task. That is application specific system. An embedded system consists of four main components. Here you can see, this is the general structure of embedded system. The first is processor, that is microprocessor or microcontroller. The program is loaded in this microprocessor or microcontroller. Next is memory, that is RAM and ROM. Students, you might have learned in 10th standard about this. RAM means, can you tell me? Write in chat box, RAM, do you remember? 
okay good it is random access memory and rom means read only memory then the peripherals are there that is input and output devices next is software that is main program okay so uh, all these units are present in this embedded system let us see types of embedded system broadly there are two types of embedded system that is a real time embedded system and non real time embedded system what is a real time embedded system a real time embedded system is a type of computer system with timing constraints means timing constraint is very very important in this embedded system that is a system which responds to external events or input very fast that is within a specified time let us see an example of this real time system consider a weapons defense system whose job is to shoot down incoming missiles and protect the naval destroyer this weapons defense system consists of three subsystems a radar system control system and weapons firing system this radar system will track the incoming missile and the control system will be operated according to that and the weapons firing system will fire the incoming missile in this system the time constraint is very very important so it is hard real time system some other real time applications of embedded system are these students you might have known these applications gps navigation systems smartphones missile guidance system space exploration that is rovers automobiles industries road safety systems latest smart tvs next type of embedded system is a non real time embedded system in non real time embedded systems the time is the time constraint is not very much important that that are not time bounded they are small small in memory limited number of peripherals they execute a limited number of tasks non real time is a term used to describe a process or event that does not occur immediately and can sometimes take hours or even days also these are the applications of non real time systems there is digital camera automobile system security system many household applications students you uh, you all are using all these applications in day to day life let us see one example of embedded system here the temperature sensor is used in this and the output is operated according to that here heater is connected led is connected at output side when low temperature is detected here then the output will turn on that is heater will turn on and if high temperature is detected then output will turn off and that programming is done in this microcontroller chip students here you can see the applications of an embedded system so many applications are there see here aircraft flight control microwave oven camera printer security system traffic management fax machine television railway system almost in every field embedded system is used uh i have listed out here the applications of embedded system according to the field here first field is consumer electronics and household appliances can you see this yes uh in this field all these applications are there second application second field is home automation and security systems third is automotive industry then telecom services computer peripherals computer networking healthcare and medical facilities 
then banking and retailing, then measurement and instrumentation. So students from such a big list, you can understand that embedded system is used everywhere. Embedded system is used everywhere means electronics is used everywhere in almost every field. Let us see one video of now robot. Do you remember this now robot? Writing chat box. Vibhute madam introduced this now robot. Yes. Here different sensors are used. Let us watch. Tactile sensor is used, touch sensor. Bumpers. An object is detected. Wow, what is that thing lying on the ground? <laughs> the second object is detected. This robot is giving message that use dustbins. Hello now, seventy-five. Hello now. Communication between two robots. Microphones, loudspeakers, sensors, and the programmable devices are used in robot. Let us move, move on to the next slide that is input output devices. Did you find it in interesting, students? Writing chat box. Yes, Atharva, Ritika, good. Okay, now tell me some input devices. You know, in embedded system, input device, input output devices are also connected to the system. Can you tell me any input output device? Okay, switch, good, Atif, mouse. Good. Okay, so here are the input devices that is keyboard, scanner, switches, and different types of sensors. These are the input devices. Output devices monitor, LCD, bulb. LED that is light emitting diode and different types of motors. Good Atif. So these input output devices are connected to the microcontroller. 
with the help of input device the input signal is given to the microcontroller the microcontroller will process that signal and the output is provided for that the output devices are used to indicate something to analyze the output devices are used okay here are the sensors uh, a sensor is a device that measures a physical quantity input quantity and that will be converted into the signal which is provided to the microcontroller here are some sensors given that is temperature sensor light sensor infrared sensors analog type digital type sensors are there so different types of sensors are there these are input devices okay next output devices motor is the output device motor is a device which convert electrical energy into mechanical energy so for the movement of robot these motors are used the motors are of different types that is gear dc motor stepper motor servo motor there are different types of motors according to the application the motors are used here uh, students when we connect motor to the microcontroller then we cannot connect it directly uh, in between the microcontroller and motor we have to connect the driver ic driver circuit uh, to drive the dc motor this driver ic is used that is l293 or 293d or l298 these ic's are used uh, before connecting motors okay this driver ic will drive the motor dc motor one more circuitry is used when uh, we connect dc motor to microcontroller this h bridge network uh, this network is used for uh, automatic ro rotation that is clockwise rotation or anti clockwise rotation of dc motor here uh, this slide shows that is in first figure see uh, s1 and s4 these two switches are switched on means the current will flow in this direction so this motor will rotate in clockwise direction and in second figure you can see s3 and s2 these two switches are turned on so this motor will rotate in anti clockwise direction in opposite direction so for rotation of anti clockwise or clockwise rotation we can use this uh, automatic switching here we, you can see uh, the robots having wheels so for uh wheel movement these these dc motors are used can you uh, see this right in chat box so that i will come to know okay it's great okay now the brain of the embedded system that is 8051 microcontroller Uh, here uh, you can use any uh, microcontroller or microprocessor in the system but uh, this is the basic microcontroller that is ic8051 so we'll see this basic microcontroller ic uh, first we will see micro uh, difference between microcontroller and microprocessor means where to use microcontroller and where to use microprocessor here you can see in first figure a figure that is a uh, microprocessor is used in this uh, when we connect microprocessor then we have to connect uh, different ic's for all these units that is ram rom input output port timer serial communication so all these ic's should be connected externally on the board when we connect microprocessor so mostly microprocessor is used uh, for general purpose microprocessor system here when we want to uh, construct an embedded system that is application specific system uh, then we have to use microcontroller because all these units are inbuilt in the microcontroller 
Okay. These are the features of 8051 microcontroller. Here it has 4 KB bytes, 4 KB internal ROM, 128 bytes internal RAM, then 4 8 bit input output ports that is P0 to P3, then two 16 bit timers or counters, then one serial interface for communication. So all these units are inbuilt in microcontroller. This is the internal diagram, block diagram, that is architecture of 8051. All these units are mentioned in this diagram. Here, you can see 8051 system clock. Can you tell me, students, what is the purpose or function of clock or watch? Writing chat box. What is the function of clock to show time? Okay. Okay. Showing time is okay, but the exact purpose of uh, clock or watch is uh, to synchronize the activities. Means you, uh, you all are informed that at 4 p.m. the session will start so you all have logged in in this session okay so the activity is synchronized by using clock okay so the same concept is used uh, here in 8051 internally all the operations will be synchronized with the help of this clock signal okay the clock signal will be generated by the clock generator used in the circuitry. In 8051, uh, the clock frequency uh, is approximately 12 megahertz. It is shown over here. This is the schematic pinout shown in this figure. Uh, this is 40 pin IC. And here you can see ports, different ports. That is P0, P1, P2, P3. Here, each port has eight pins in it. Uh, we discussed the input-output devices. Those input-output input devices can be interfaced or connected through all these ports, four ports. So total 32 pins are there for connection of input-output devices for 8051. These are the ports. That is port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3. The functions are mentioned over here. Let us see interfacing now. Here key is input device and the buzzer is output device. So in this, both are connected. Here we, we have connected only one key. So only one pin is sufficient. So one pin that is P1.6 of port 1 is connected here. And the buzzer, buzzer is connected to this pin that is P1.7. So by detecting the status of this switch pressing, uh, the buzzer will be operated. Here, uh, students, when uh, we connect a uh, number of keys, then number of pins are required. Okay. But uh, here we prefer to connect a uh, keyboard because uh, with the help of keyboard, we can interface number of keys by using less number of pins. You can see here 16 keys are interfaced with the help of only eight pins. OK, so keyboard is preferred when we are interfacing number of keys. Then seven segment display. Do you remember this? In first session, you have learned this. Okay, so uh, we can interface this seven segment display to the microcontroller. Okay, it will uh, it will be used to display uh, the digits from zero to nine. This is the interfacing diagram. That is 8051 microcontroller is shown here and the seven segment display. 
So according to the key pressing, the digits from 0 to 9 will be displayed on 7 segment display. OK. So by using uh, 7 segment display, we can display only 0 to 9 digits. Per, but to display the characters, this LCD is used. So this is the LCD interfacing diagram. Here, you can display any message, any character here. This video shows that we can display any message here uh, by writing the program in 8051. According to that, we can display any message on LCD. Next is uh, keyboard and LCD interfacing. In this, keyboard is input device, LCD is output device. So both are interfaced here. So by detecting the key pressing of this keyboard, the key will be displayed, particular key will be, or key number will be displayed on this LCD. Okay. Let us watch one video of the experiment what uh, we do in our college laboratory watch carefully this welcome message is displayed on one line will i will show it once again this welcome message is displayed on only one line single line okay now the second video of same application, see here on screen. Now this welcome message is displayed on two different lines. Okay, so according to the application, we can change the program and we can load that program on this microcontroller IC. This is the evaluation board. The microcontroller IC is this, and we can change the program according to the display we want. Okay, another experiment that is relay interfacing. Here, a relay is interfaced with the microcontroller, and at the output circuitry, bulb is connected which is operated turned on or off by giving some delay. OK. Next output device is stepper motor. Now, stepper motor working, we'll see afterwards. That is uh, how it works. Uh, when we connect stepper motor uh, to microcontroller, then uh, to drive the stepper motor, we have to connect again the driver IC, similar to DC motor interfacing. Here, ULN2003, this motor driver IC is required to connect in between this stepper motor and the microcontroller. Microcontroller IC is not shown here. Only this much circuit is shown here. OK? These are the applications of stepper motors. 3D printing equipment, textile machines, printing presses, gaming machines, medical imaging machinery, small robotics, CNC milling machines, welding equipments. Next output device is DC motor. We have already seen this. When we want to connect this DC motor to microcontroller, then again, the same thing is that uh, there, that is, L293D, that is driver IC, we have connected between microcontroller and motors. Here, two motors are interfaced. This first motor, we are rotating in clockwise direction. And the second motor, we are rotating in anti-clockwise direction. OK. I will explain here, uh, in short, the software development cycle means up to this, the hardware part was there. Now we'll see something about the software, that is software development cycle. Means when we write the program, 
uh, when what processes are there okay so first tool from the software development cycle is editor uh, here we can use keel software or uh, spj software to write the program students uh, when we write anything in word file uh, any message any, and uh, we want to save that file then uh, some extension is automatically provided to that file that is dot doc do you know that yes or no write in chat box yes when you write anything in word file and you save that file then dot doc uh, extension that is provided automatically so same thing is here uh, you can write the program in assembly language or in embedded c language uh, suppose we are writing the program in assembly language then the editor gives dot asm as extension to the file then the file is uh, given to assembler Th this is the second tool this assembler will uh, convert that file into dot obj that is object file will be created and with this object file one more file is created that is dot lst dot lst file contains the list of library functions and here this linker is the ne next tool it takes that obj file that is object file and it links the other files required files according to the list given here okay so here the program is ready for debugging now and this debugger will debug the program if any error is present in the program then that program is available uh, to rectify it again in editor window and uh, we have to re rectify means programmer have to uh, has to re rectify that uh, error and the same process will be continued again and when the program is error free then uh, we'll get here dot hex file that is ready for simulation or programming okay so in short i have explained here the software development cycle is how the program will be executed did you get students any reply yes good hema atharva ritika good very good now these are the applications of robot using microcontroller line follower robot using microcontroller this is a real mars rover in this uh, different sensors are used cameras are used different motors are used it is used in mars mission you can remember it this is a climbing robot uh, the robots are used in pharmaceutical companies also let us watch one video for that accurate amount of medicine is filled in the bottle the bottles are carefully taken that medicine is added
automatically all the operations will be performed. OK. Isn't it interesting, students? Yes. Thank you, students. Any questions from you, students? Students, uh, actually, it is uh, very difficult to cover this entire topic in one hour session. Uh, these contents are divided in uh, two semester curriculum of electronics engineering diploma course. Uh, detailed syllabus is there uh, from basics of microcontroller to programming in assembly language and in embedded C language. Uh, I have tried here to explain the concept of an embedded system. I hope you got you all got the concept, some idea about an embedded system. Any questions? Uh, Ma'am, is robotics help in computer first year? Actually, regarding robotics, uh, the no subject is there in first year computer. But afterwards, you can use it means when you complete the uh, diploma or engineering degree, then it will be beneficial for you. In first year, they are having basic uh, subjects. Hmm. Basic ICT Hello, tools and six all six the basic years. subjects are there in first year. And C, C programming language they study. Huh. OK. Somebody is asking Madhavan Madam, game development, is there a diploma in game development? Game development. Uh, uh, actually, uh, you have to search on MSBT site that uh, game uh, development or, uh, diploma is there or not. And where it is... Uh, Till now, we have not listened about it. We'll, but we'll suggest. Yes, it's good. You can develop games also. Okay, now students, uh, your turn now. The questions for you, students. Can you see this question? Is it visible to you, students? Yes, give answer, please. Dash 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 are connected to the input port of the microcontroller 8051. A, drivers, B, sensors, C, indicators, D, motors. Write in chat box. Read carefully, students. Read carefully. Sensors. <laughs> All are wrong? Okay, okay. It's B. Okay. <laughs> They have to take your tuition, madam. <laughs> Special tuition. Okay, sensor, <laughs> actually, sensors are the input devices. So, those are connected to input port. Drivers are connected in between motors and the microcontroller. So, in between output device and microcontroller, drivers are connected. And indicators and motors are output devices. So, sensors is the correct answer. Okay, next question. It is very simple, students. Give your answer, please. Keyboard is the output device, whether it is true or false. Good, it is false because keyboard is input device. Okay. Huma, Adit, Neha, Nehal. Good. Next question. Uh, embedded system contains what? A, hardware, B, software. C, both hardware and software. It's C, correct. Good. Both hardware and software. Next question. 
to move the wheels or arms of the robot dash 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 are interface to 8051 microcontroller a dc motor b stepper motor c both a and b d none of the above it is simple it is c that is both the type of motors can be interfaced next question 8051 microcontroller has inbuilt dash 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 timers ram rom all above units it's d correct all are intelligent students good all the units are present in build okay microcontroller 8051 is dash 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 pin ic how many pins are there students for 8051 microcontroller it is b good it is 40 pin ic thank you students students i hope uh, you all are enjoyed this session you found this session interesting thank you for joining this session thank you students if you have any question you ask me yes any question students yes it was very informative and interesting also manasi yes good jitendra mm. you can uh, turn on your microphone and you can speak also video microphone turn on yes <laughs> samiksha very good samiksha please give tell tell us how did you find samiksha hello yes samiksha speak turn on your microphone uh, video, video. video on karo mic on karo you all all can turn on the video and mic can you hear me yes yes, yes, yes. Can. we can hear you thank you ma'am to give us a very important information 